Here's the quickest Feral Druid guide for tanking. You have Rage, which generates when you auto-attack, crit with an ability, or when you take damage from an enemy. This is your talent building glyphs. Feral tanks have a talent tree that makes them automatically crit capped, so you won't need to stack any defense or resilience at all. And many of the talents are great for cat DPS too, making Feral one of the highest damage off tanks in the game. Your rotation is actually about as straightforward as it gets, so straightforward that you could actually, if you wanted to, use a single cast sequence macro to basically play the spec for you, but I wouldn't recommend it, so the priority looks like this. Taunt the boss with Growl, cast Berserk on cooldown, cast Mangle on cooldown, spamming Mangle while in Berserk, obviously, cast Fairy Fire on cooldown, keep five stacks of Lacerate on the target at all times, never let it fall off, then just cast Swipe if everything else is on cooldown, and cast Maul if you have extra rage. For AoE, you simply spam Swipe and Maul, and that's it. As a tank, your survivability comes from two things. When you critically hit, the next physical attack on you is reduced by 25% of your attack power. This is why it's super important to always be casting something and never let Lacerate fall off, because Lacerate can crit too. For defensives, you have three cooldowns. Bark Skin causes you to take 20% less damage. This cooldown is super short, so use it often. Survival Instinct greatly increases your health, and Frenzy Regeneration is a heal over time converting Rage into health. You also bring Rebirth, which allows you to resurrect the player in combat, Innervate is a huge mana regeneration buff that your healers will ask for. Challenging Roar forces all nearby enemies to attack you. Demoralizing Roar reduces the attack power of all nearby enemies. Feral Charge charges you to the target, rooting and interrupting their spellcasting. And Thorns buffs you with a small damage and threat increase. That's the last Druid spec, so which spec should I do next? And subscribe for more Wrath Guides.